Um, this video is a quick overview of how to use Canvas for this course. And I, as you can see, it's going to be right here where the red highlight is. Um, but when you come into the course, it's pretty simple. Um, you guys will actually see right here from the beginning. So um, there is a, a brief introduction for you guys from the college, which just has all the resources, how to use Canvas, that kind of thing. So make sure to kind of check that out, take the pre-course quiz. Um, that doesn't actually count towards your grade, but it's something that's there for you if you need it. But basically when you walk, come into the course in the modules tab, you'll see that each week is uh, a module and every week you'll just kind of work top to bottom. It's really simple. Follow the all caps instructions. Um, anything that you see that has a little icon is something that you can, uh, it has a link, has a hyperlink. So it's either going to be something like a page which includes just kind of instruction or information, um, maybe a lecture, that kind of thing, or a video. If it has a little rocket, that's a quiz. Um, and then if it has a little uh, discussion bubble, that is a discussion board. So that's something that's open to everybody in the course and everyone can kind of chime in and talk to each other. Um, if you have something that looks like this, a page with a little pen next to it, that's actually a writing assignment. So that could be a journal or something like, or an actual just writing assignment or an essay. That's something that only I can see. Um, so it's unique to you. And, um, really it's, it's quite simple. Like I said, you're just going to kind of follow the instructions. So as you come down the week, you'll, all the instructions will be left aligned and will be all caps. So you're going to read and watch the information below. The first thing you're going to do every week when you come in is look at the overview. So it'll have the objectives, the content, what you're supposed to watch, and the assignments for the week. So just give that a quick glance when you come in. There's nothing clickable in here. Um, it's just a, a list. But you're going to do an overview, and then you'll start on your assignments. So as I, I can read the instructions, just watch the information below. So I'm going to click this welcome link, and there will be a video here. Follow the kind of instructions. It says, you know, click here to read the syllabus. Look at the textbook information, which, again, textbook is not required. Um, read the technical requirements, et cetera, et cetera. And then as you kind of work through, you'll come back to the modules tab and keep working down the page. So um, as you can see, the next step will be to come in and look at the syllabus in the course calendar. And I'm still working on the video at this moment, but the video will be here. You'll watch a video. You'll read the information and follow along as I kind of go through all of this with you on the video. And then you'll come back and you'll see there's an associated quiz. So when you click into the quiz, you just come in. Now it's going to look different on the student view than my view. So you guys can kind of see it here, but you'll basically just click next, take the quiz. Quizzes are usually kind of max 10 questions. Um, so you guys can, they're all very manageable and, and, and very simple. Um, so then as you're kind of working down the module, you'll see that the next step is to watch this video, which you're watching right now. That's just a page of information with the video on it. And then the last thing you'll do this week is do a discussion board. So you'll just come in and you will basically hit reply introduce yourself. Here's the prompt. The prompt is always at the top. Do whatever the prompt says, whatever the discussion board is about, um, and then you'll post your reply, and that's pretty much it. Now, on discussion boards, it's really, um, I do want to let you know that you're not required to respond to another student unless I explicitly say it in the instructions. So if I say it in the instructions, that will be part of your grade. Otherwise, you don't have to respond to others in the course, but you're always welcome to, as long as that response is respectful of other people. Um, so then as you're kind of working down, you'll see pretty simple. Whenever you are submitting something like a writing assignment, so for here, for example, um, you can kind of see here in the student view, you'll click next, you'll upload the Word document, or you'll write the response or whatever it might be, and then you'll click submit. So it's pretty simple. But as I noted um, in the syllabus video, you guys will have access to all of the weeks within a unit. So you'll see at the end of every week it says, congrats, this week is complete. Um, you can go on to the next week. You're absolutely welcome to work ahead. You guys will have access to weeks one through six in week one. I mean, in unit one, apologies. So you can have you can work ahead if you like, um, but you don't you don't have to. So if you want to finish, you know, whatever it is by the end of that week when it's due at eleven fifty nine p.m. and you want to wait till Monday morning to start on the next unit, um, the next week's unit, you can certainly do that. So, um, like I said, it's pretty self explanatory. You'll have access to weeks one through six. And then once this essay is turned in, you'll see that unit number two will open the next Monday morning at 9 a.m. So then you'll have access to weeks seven through 10. 
you'll submit your second essay, and then you'll have access to basically weeks uh, right, right up through the end. So you'll see you have access um, right when your third essay is due, and weeks 15 and 16 really are just um, open for you. That's a Thanksgiving week, so no work, and then a, a prep week for your final exam. Um, the only other thing I did want to note was when you are coming in to do each of these units, um, make sure that you're following, like I said, top to bottom. Make sure you are working through the modules. That's really, really, really important. Don't work through the assignment list. You're going to miss all of the context and all of the instruction. And that's really important to a lot of these assignments because a lot of them build on each other. Um, I do want to note that each essay for each unit has an assignment sheet for it and an associated video. Now, I'm still working on this currently, but you'll see that when you come in, you absolutely must watch the video that goes with it because that's where all of the context, all of the instructions are, and you're going to want to read the assignment sheet. So I sometimes get students who email me and ask how long is the essay or what do I have to do, and I know that they haven't actually read or watched the explanation, so everything that you need will be in the explanation for each essay assignment. And there are videos throughout each of these modules that walk you through a lot of things um, just to make sure that you're never lost. So make sure you're working through the modules, make sure you're working top to bottom, make sure you're completing all of your assignments for the week. Like I said, every Monday morning, I will send you guys an email through the Canvas email that as a reminder outlines what that week's assignments are um, and what's due. So. Let me know if you have questions, but otherwise, um, all this information is here for you, and it's pretty simple.